I grew up in Ghana, in Kumasi, um, and I went to primary school there. My father was a lawyer, and also he was in Parliament uh, in the early 60s. And my mother's um, an English woman, and uh, she's, she lived in Ghana from 1955 um, until she died this year. I did, uh, I did uh, two philosophy degrees at Cambridge and um, became a philosopher. And that's what I am now. I've, I've taught philosophy in, uh, in the United States, basically, since I finished uh, my doctorate uh, at Yale and Harvard and Cornell and Duke and now at Princeton. If you imagine your identity in, in Norway or in Germany or in France or in Spain as tied up with a history of being in a Christian country, uh, a white country, a country with churches and not mosques, a country where people look one way and not another way, then you know you can feel as it were alienated from your own home if it becomes if you think of it as no longer being a white place, no longer being a Christian place, no longer being a place with with churches, but now a place with churches and mosques and so on. Um, and a place full of people who, who speak a language you can't understand, whereas the whole point of home is that at home you go out into the street and you know what people are talking about and so on, you can understand the, the chatter of the people around you. All that is perfectly understandable. Africans understand that, surely. The, 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 the Africans can experience that sense of uh, worry just as easily as anyone else. Um, on the other hand, I have to say, as someone who grew up in Kumasi, which was not in the middle of the British Empire, but on the periphery, that we have managed perfectly well uh, for several hundred years to live in a town where there are many, many languages spoken and where it's perfectly easy to go into the market and not understand what somebody is saying without feeling particularly threatened or alienated by that fact. So the idea might be that with what we've learned on this planet and um, how it has uh, been difficult for Africans and everything that we've endured for the past 500 years, um, that this is a chance for a new beginning, a, a new world where we write the rules differently to ensure that the outcome will be an outcome that is of benefit to Africans.